JLPT book haul. You know, it's always fun to shop. It was so exciting putting them in the carpet. Now that they're here, I just... Why did I do this to myself? Hey everyone, welcome back to That Japan Live with me, Jill. And today we're doing a haul video. Well, my kind of haul video. And we are doing a comparison of the Soul Matome books compared with the new Kanzen Master books. So I'm hoping to take and pass the JLPT N1 level this year. And as some of you may know, if you're watching this video, in the past, I have so stubbornly stuck to my ways and used only three apps to review for the N2 examination. If you haven't watched that video yet, be sure to check it out here. And although that worked for me and I was actually able to get an N2 certification in a matter of just 17 months, I figured that this time the JLPT N1 is a whole nother level. To tell you the truth, I haven't really taken the time to hit the books in more or less two years now. So given the current state of my study habits and my Japanese Passing the JLPT within the year is actually a very ambitious task and my mindset this time around is very different from the one that I had before. When I took the N2, I was just doing it for fun. I thought it would be cool to learn something new, but this time around, mastering Japanese and having an N1 certification would mean a chance for me to better enrich my son's life as he is half Japanese and he is living in Japan after all. And also it would mean a higher chance for me to advance professionally. So yeah, I guess in a word this time, I am more desperate. Whether that would work to my favor or not, we will find out soon enough. But yes, this time I'm banking on that desperation to get me through the test and to finally give me the perseverance to try the tried and tested study habits and books and resources in order to pass the Japanese language proficiency test. When it comes to the main books used for reviewing for the JLPT, there seems to be an ongoing debate out there between those who prefer the Soul Matume series and those who would rather recommend the new Kanzen Master series. Browsing through the threads on the internet though, it seems like a lot of people who have successfully gained an N1 certification did so by employing a combination of both series and more. From what I understood, the Soul Matama series has the advantage of being easier to digest, easier to study for the learner, and the Kanzen Master is a lot more difficult, but because of that, its advantage is that it gets you closer to the actual test. It prepares you better for the actual test. Online, there are also a lot of people who, based on their experience, suggested exclusively using one book for one topic. So for example, using the Soul Matame for vocabulary and then using the Kanzan Master for kanji. I actually thought that those were very good suggestions and if I follow those, it would not only save me time and money, it would also make sure that I would be able to go through each material thoroughly. But I don't know, I just couldn't bring myself to dismiss one book in favor of the other just because it worked for someone else. Because what if that's not the case for me? I know, I'm OC that way. And so, long story short, I've decided to buy the complete series for Soul Matame as well as the complete series for the Kanzen Master. So that's 10 books. So help me God. Since buying them, I have studied the structure of each book and took at least the first lesson from each. And so based on that, today I am going to be doing an initial review and comparison of each book. And so take note, that's initial. Once I'm done with all of the materials, I'm going to be doing another review and it might differ from what I will be saying today. So just remember that. So to start with, let's talk about the price. Books in each series actually have a base price of about 1,200 yen. For the Soul Matame series, four books are um, priced at 1,200 yen, but the listening comprehension book 
is priced at 1600 I guess it's because it does come with a CD. And for the new Kanzan Master, majority of the books are also priced at 1,200 yen. But just like the Soul Matamid, the Listening Comprehension book is also priced at 1,600 yen. It also comes with two CDs actually. And in addition to that, the new Kanzan Master's Reading Comprehension book is priced at 1,400 yen. I guess because it's a bit thicker compared to the other books. Of course, take note, that's the price on the book covers. So if you're gonna buy it from the bookstore, you have to take into consideration the tax. In my case, I actually bought mine from Amazon because I currently do not live near a bookstore and they're heavy. I'm not gonna bring them from the bookstore directly to my house. So I got them from Amazon and in Amazon, they are actually priced 10% higher. So books that cost 1,200 yen, in Amazon, they cost 1320 and I am an Amazon Prime member, so delivery was free. Moving on, let me talk about the appearance. If appearance is not the kind of thing you care about, then you can skip this part, but I care about the appearance, so let me start with that as well. So the Soul Matome books, and they have a blue and white theme going on here. Um, the covers actually seem identical at first, but of course the writings are different because it indicates what kind of book you have in your hand. And also like each book has an animal, which are pretty cute. And the new Kanzan Master on the other hand have different colors for each book. And they have this sort of um, different patterns on the cover. And the patterns are cute. I just don't care much for them when it comes to book covers. So I personally, like the Soul Matame covers actually because they're cute but because the colors of the books on the new Kanzan Master series differ I figured that you know once you familiarize yourself with the colors it would be very easy to you to just pick one out the the one that you need it would be very easy and very quick for you to pick it up so if you care for that kind of thing if you're in a hurry if you need to bring it to school then yeah i guess that's a good thing so now let's compare each book based on the category so um first we'll be comparing the kanji books the Nihongo Somatome Kanji Reviewer is meant to be studied in a matter of eight weeks and the kanjis are grouped based on their similarities. So for the first lesson, for example, the kanjis are introduced and grouped because they have the same radicals. On the first six days of each week, you will study the kanjis and on the seventh day, you will have a longer test which is modeled after the actual JLPT. For each day, after you study the countries themselves, there is also a quick practice test. And another thing that you should take note when it comes to the Soul Matume Kanji Reviewer and actually all Nihongo Soul Matume series books, they all come with English, Korean, and Chinese translations. Now on to the new Kanzan Master Kanji Reviewer. So all new Kanzan Master books, first off, do not have any foreign language translations. Now, the kanji book for the new Kanzan Master is actually divided into three chapters. The first chapter has 11 lessons and introduces you to the kanjis with their kunyomi reading. On the second chapter, you get to study the kanjis onyomi readings as well as the kanjis that have special readings. The countries are later grouped thematically, so for example, countries related to IT, countries related to food, plants, etc, etc. But for the first few lessons, you are introduced to countries as um, verb, so verb vocabularies, and those verbs are assigned levels, so level A to C. Level A are verbs, the vocabulary belong in the N2, but the kanji are N1 level. And then level B are vocabulary that belong in the N1, but the kanji are N2 level or lower. And then level C means that the kanji are N1 level as well as the vocabulary are N1 level. So they increase in difficulty. Unlike the Soma Tome book, each lesson comes with illustrations that are related to the kanji's being introduced. So some illustrations. It's not like each kanji has an illustration, but there are some. So what did I think after taking one or more lessons from each of the kanji books? 
Um, I felt that the way the Soul Matame book groups the kanjis based on similarities like radicals is very good when it comes to remembering the on reading. The meaning of the kanjis themselves are actually not introduced and the accompanying examples, which are just words or phrases for the first few lessons at least, are actually not very helpful when it comes to remembering what they mean or even remembering the vocabulary being introduced. Of course, this is to remind you that you should not limit yourself to just one or both of these reviewers and you should always consult other sources when it comes to understanding the meaning of the countries and when it comes to studying for the JLPT in general. The way the Som Matome introduces the countries is also great for remembering the little differences of the kanjis that have similar radicals, which is actually a common type of question in the JLPT. At first, the new Kanzan master material did seem heavier. For the first lesson, there were three sets of A-level verbs introduced, and that totals to about 45 kanjis, as opposed to the 35 introduced for the first lesson of the Soul Matemai Kanji Reviewer. Aside from the fact that they are all A-level verbs, I also could not discern at this point any similarities or any connection with the countries introduced on the first lesson. So I thought that this would actually make it very difficult for me to remember and memorize the countries being introduced. However, here's the thing. While the Sol Matame only gives us word and phrases as examples of usage for the countries, the hands of master, especially in the first few lessons because it's kunyomi, so it's like entire words, whole words, and then they give us sample sentences, complete sentences for each word, for each kanji. And because of that, although there were more introduced in the first lesson, I actually found it easier to take in compared to the Sol Matame. These sample sentences make it easier to understand and memorize what is being introduced. And also, as I've mentioned, it comes with a few illustrations and at first I thought these would just be cute additions to the pages of the new Kansan Master Reviewer, but I was surprised they were actually very helpful in studying as well. So at this point, my winner when it comes to the Kanji Reviewer is definitely the new Kansan Master, but not enough to the point that I'm willing to drop the Sol Matame just yet because after the first lesson, I can also see merits from it. So my decision as of now is probably to study both together. Now on to the vocabulary books. Just like other Soul Matame reviewers, so this one was also designed to be an eight-week reviewer, and each day you will study about 20 to 30 words, and that would total to about 1,000 300 once you're done with the entire course. The vocabulary you will be learning are grouped according to the context you might use them in. So for example, on the first lesson, you will be learning vocabulary used in order to describe a person's personality or character. After each day's lesson, there is also a very quick practice test, in this case, eight items. Similar to the Sol Matume, the vocabulary introduced on the new Kansan Masters Vocabulary Reviewer are also grouped according to the context they will be used in. In fact, for the first lesson, they actually have the very same topic as with the Sol Matume Reviewer, so that's describing people's personality. Aside from the adjectives themselves though, for this book, you are also introduced to other related expressions. So for example, you will learn adverbs and prefixes or suffixes that are used in order to describe something. And just like the Sol Matame, it also gives you examples as to how you might use it in a sentence. And for a lot of the vocabulary introduced, you also get together with it the antonyms or synonyms or maybe a strong way of stating the same expression. Actually, this is also done on the Sol Matame book, but in far less cases. The accompanying test for each lesson is also far longer than the one on the Sol Matame's, but of course, remember that the Sol Matame for each week's seventh day does have a longer exam. For the new Kansan Masters vocabulary, 
first lesson, you get two pages of practice test after. And of course, remember that if it's the new Kansan master, once you're done with the entire material, you get a longer um, practice exam patterned after the JLPT. So what do I think? Between the two vocabulary reviewers, I again prefer the one from the new Kansan Master series because I like that there are a lot of expressions introduced as synonyms or antonyms and such because I felt like it's a great way to remember more in one go. I also like the longer practice tests after each lesson because I feel like it's, it's a great way in order to really etch the vocabulary into your memory. And at this point, I am seriously considering dropping the Sol Matume vocabulary reviewer and just focus on the one from the new Kansan master because I feel like it covers everything that the Sol Matume does plus more. Okay, next one. On to the grammar books. The Sol Matame groups the grammar points based on the similarities of the expressions being used. For the first lesson, for example, you are introduced to grammar points that have the expression kotso in them. Every day there are three to five grammatical structures introduced, and for each grammatical structure there are two or more examples. Since this is the Sol Matame, the examples of course come with English, Korean, and Chinese translations. But in addition to that, you also get a Japanese sentence which is the simpler way of stating the longer, more complicated sentence that is using the day's grammatical lesson. There is also a corner where the formation of the grammar point within a sentence is summarized. Once you're done studying, there is a quick practice test that follows. As for the new Kanzan master, the vocabulary points are grouped according to the topic you might use them in. So, for example, the first lesson covers expressions that are related to time. Before you get to the actual lessons for the new Kanzan master's grammar book, there are actually a few pages dedicated to introducing and practicing the different types of grammar questions in the JLPT. For the main lessons themselves, you also get about five grammar points a day, and each grammar point has three or more sample sentences. The sample sentences are followed by the pattern, or how to use it within a sentence, and lastly, the new Kansan master provides this part where it's explained how you might use this expression in context as opposed to the other expressions being introduced. So for example, it might say something like, this expression means that the speaker is feeling shock, or it might say something like, this statement means that the event happened very quickly, something like that. So what did I think about both of these grammar books? I thought that the new Kanzan Master was very well thought out. I think it's very straightforward and gives you all of the information that you need. That said though, I somehow like the way the Sol Matame groups the grammar points based on similar expressions used within them. I think that that makes it easier to remember and also to not confuse expressions that are similar sounding. And as of this moment, I'm torn and I might just continue using both of them. Moving on to the reading comprehension books. So let's start with the Sol Matume. Unlike the other Sol Matume books discussed earlier, this one follows a six-week study schedule. Of course, those six weeks still mean that the first six days of each week are dedicated to learning, and then the seventh day is for an exam. Each day covers a different strategy in order to help you pinpoint the correct answer for the JLPT reading comprehension test in a timely manner. For example, you might have lessons about understanding opinions structured as interrogatives or about expressions frequently used in long statements. Now, the way the Sol Matame book helps you ease into it is that for each lesson, it gives you four passages, and each one is longer and more difficult than the one before it. 
That is except for the last week which is dedicated to mastering and dissecting long passages so it has constant long reading materials. As for the new Kanzen Master Reading Comprehension book, it is divided into three parts. The first two chapters are meant to help you master different strategies in order to find the correct answer for different types of JLPT questions. For example, how you might tackle questions that are asking for opinions or questions that are asking for examples. On the third chapter, you get to practice the strategies that you learned by answering real questions formatted after the actual JLPT. Again, as a Kanzen Master Reviewer, it also comes with a long practice exam at the end of all of the lessons. The way it differs from the Soul Matame though is that the new Kanzen Master automatically starts you off with a full-length passage in order to teach you the lesson and then gives you additional passages afterward in order to practice the strategies. So what did I think about these two reading comprehension reviewers? As someone who has not been studying for a significant amount of time, I had a feeling that practicing reading would be the most difficult and most challenging for me because I knew that just looking at the sheer amount of kanji and grammar and vocabulary that I had to take in in just one lesson would be overwhelming and true enough, every time I tried to study reading comprehension, my entire mental system would shut down and my body would do what it usually does in stressful situations which is start to doze off and before I knew it, I have been napping for one hour. So for this point, I appreciate how the soul matume tries to ease you into it. So it starts with passages that are not too long and not too complicated and that feels like it's it's easier to tackle and I don't fall asleep as much as I do when I try to practice reading comprehension using the new kinds of master material. However, my worry is that that is not how the real test works. And I'm afraid that if I'm going to focus on the soul metame material in order to practice my reading comprehension, then the real JLPT would just be too difficult for me. So then I think that the new Kanzen master would better equip me for the test. The new Kanzen master plus a lot of other practice reading using different types of material because I really need to train my brain not to shut down when I'm looking at an entire page of Japanese words. Another thing that I really really like about the new Kanzen Master reading comprehension book is that the answer key at the back of course indicates the correct answer but it also has an explanation why each of the other options are wrong. You have no idea how helpful this is. Not only does it clear up possible misunderstanding of a particular passage but it really brings light to what types of mistakes you commonly make and also what tricks because they make a lot of tricks they use a lot of tricks so it clears up what jlpt tricks you usually fall for for that reason alone the new kanzen master reading comprehension reviewer is a real winner for me and lastly, let's go ahead and compare the listening comprehension books. By studying two pages a day, you can finish Somatama's listening comprehension book in a matter of just four weeks. This book is divided into five chapters, and each chapter deals with different types of strategies for answering JLPT listening comprehension questions. For example, the second chapter helps you understand the different types of questions that might come up, while the third chapter exposes you to the varying conversations that you might have to listen to. The first chapter is a preparation chapter that talks about topics like listening to Japanese contractions. As a listening comprehension reviewer, the book comes with a CD, but you can also download the audio materials online just by providing the ISBN 
of your particular book on the dedicated website. Each daily lesson starts with some study notes about the specific topic and then that is followed by the practice test. The answer key that comes attached at the back of the book also contains the script to the audio material. Now moving on to the new Kanzen Masters Listening Comprehension Reviewer. At first I actually thought that you can't access the audio materials from the web using the new Kanzen Master, but then I noticed it's actually written here very clearly that you can also listen to it on the web. The reason why I thought so is because they're not really making it easy for you to get the material online. It's as if they want you to use the CD itself. So here you have the So Madame, and if you can see here, they provide you with a QR code, the website that you need to go to if you want to download it and then you just need to type in the serial code which is also indicated on the book so it's very easy to get here for the new kanzen master i had no idea at all how to get it i tried typing like new kanzen master audio materials and at first nothing would come up and i finally found how to do it through a very old thread on reddit you have to go to the book publisher's website, which is this unknown website. And I don't even care to type it anymore because I just clicked on the link that someone posted on Reddit. And then that's where you can access all of the materials. You can download all of them. So you have the batch download here. And then you could actually also play them from here so yeah it does come with audio materials on the web they're just not making it easy for you to access it as for the content the book is divided into three sections the first section introduces the different types of questions for the JLPT and strategies for how to answer them. The second section provides you with more exercises in order to practice the strategies that you learn, but actually starts with a lesson about dealing with distinctive or tricky aspects of Japanese pronunciation so that you can get used to them. And so what do I think about these two listening comprehension reviewers? I feel like both books try to teach you the same strategies in order to deal with the different types of questions in the actual test. The new Kanzen Master does seem to present more difficult and thus more realistic questions, but I'm just really bummed about the audio materials online. I don't know, I just can't seem to get past that point. So as of now, my thinking is I would use both. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it at the same time, but yeah, I think I'd go through each book at least once. And so that's what I thought about the JLPT N1 review materials from the Nihon Sōmatsuma series and the new Kanzen Master series. I hope you learned something from this video and that it will also help you in your studies. So good luck to all of us and thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course to give me a thumbs up.